welcome back to um, the course of video. So hopefully we'll try again to get it running. Didn't have much luck last time. So I've got something else I want to try. As you may know, I changed the engine on this car. And that is, there's the old engine there, there's the old block. And I think one of the rods bent or broke. Which is why I changed the engine. Anyway, I've, I've had a suggestion from somebody I know, you've seen him on previous videos, I we'll call him Daz, he, you'll have seen him on my Volkswagen T4 videos, Hel helping me and Adam out. Anyway, he suggested that, with well, his head, just so I get the camshaft cover off, take the camshafts out of it and swap them over onto that engine, because the camshafts may be different. You know, even, even though it's basically the same head and block, the the cam timing might actually be different, which is why it's not starting up. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, we'll strip strip all this down like I did before, and then we'll start swapping everything over. But before before we do that, we need to get the uh, the engine timing right, and I'm going to use this again. I think you saw it before, just open it up. Yeah, we use that to get the engine timed up before we start to keep camshafts off. Well, I've done all this before, so I'll just whiz, whiz through it, taking all this off. everything loosened now if I've got this right this should lift off and it did so got access to the uh, to the camshafts now right next thing I need to do is set the timing so number one cylinder is at top dead center so what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, jack up this side of the car put it in gear and then all I need to do is turn the wheel and it'll turn the engine Simples. Right, as I did, I've always do this bit. Well, it took some doing, but I've got there in the end. Um, turn the wheel. I'll put the camera down, I can't do it with, with just one hand. So I'll just put you guys down. Put you somewhere where you can see the, the engine turning. So, so I'm going to turn the engine, just turn the wheel. See, as you can see, you can see the engine turning. Um, I took the ear plugs out to make it a bit easier. So what we'll do is we'll find top dead centre number one piston, long screwdriver down to the spark plug hole. Oh no, 
drop down. Right, so we've gone, we've backed it off past top dead center, so just turn it. And till it starts going down again. And I think we've just about got top dead center there. And if it's on the compression stroke, camshaft lobes for number one, there and there, should be pointing outward, so it's on the compression stroke. So now we can start removing these camshafts. But before we need to do that, we need to uh, lock the crankshaft. So take this plug out and put the locking tool in, and that will lock the crankshaft. Then we can uh, start to uh, swap out the camshafts. Now when you're dismantling components, you need to make sure you get everything in the right order so it goes back in the exact same place, especially with the uh, camshaft bearing caps, of which there are five on each camshaft. And you need to slowly uh, un undo them gradually, because you can actually break the camshaft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take off the exhaust camshaft on this, then do the same on here, again you've got to keep everything in the exact order and um, I think I'll have to uh, you know, remove the sprockets because you know, it's, it's all in time with chain so I think it'll be a bit difficult if I try to uh, remove, you know, remove the sprockets I'll probably, probably have to do all timing chain again and don't, I, don't, I don't particularly want to do any more work than, than is necessary I can just uh, loosen that and just take the camshaft out ok so the bolts for these camshaft bearing caps they're E10 and you need to sort of gradually loosen them do, just do it bit by bit like this if you, if you loosen it once and valves, valves under compression it pushes the camshaft up it could actually break it so just do it steadily and I'll put a whizzit whist of this Okay, so all the bearing caps are off and the camshaft is nearly ready to come out but I think what I'll do is I'll uh, try to take this, this sprocket off before um, Fortunately there's like a hexagon on the end of the camshaft here I don't need to tell, I need something a bit bigger This one's a bit, a little bit mullered, so I might have to use a, to use a bigger. Let's see if I can get this one off. Maybe I should have done this before. I can see it, it's coming loose. Yep, got that loosened. Maybe I should have done it before I start taking the cams, bearing caps off. So I'll just undo this bolt and that's a sprocket off. Yeah. That can that can come out. I know whether I swap out the uh, the rockers and the lifters. But they'll be they'll be sh they should be the same no matter what. So I think I'm gonna do the same on the engine. Um, I, won't, I won't film that because it's the same as what I've done here and then we'll uh, we can then start swapping camshaft over right I've taken all camshaft bearing caps off I've loosened the bolt and as a precaution I've uh, cable tied the sprockets to the chain so when I pull this out it should the sprocket should stay exactly where it is because the guide's holding the chain up it's keep it all in place so all being well camshaft should just 
come out like that so take it over to the bench and we'll compare it to the other one right here's the camshaft we took off off the one on the car the exhaust camshaft and we'll just get this one out and um, we'll just compare them see if there's any any differences in the lobes I'm just looking they don't seem to be any different We'll swap them out anyway. Right, so right, this is the one that come off the car. Just put that there for now. And um, we'll get this one fitted. So that's the inlet camshaft and button up, buttoned up. Uh, I've got it all back. I've not tightened this this sprocket bolt because I need to get this camshaft in the right place. But I won't do that until I've changed out the the inlet camshaft. So I'll do that next and then I'll get back to you. Oh, there's one thing uh, to note. Um, this this is part of the engine time and it, tell, it tells the ECU when, when to fire so I need to be careful with that. I don't want to drop that down in the sump. So that's something to be uh, to be aware of on the inlet camshaft. Okay, I've got everything buttoned up so time to do the engine timing. Um, for this, I'm going to use this, this bar. So, we just turn the camshafts. That's a rope until we get them in the right place. Now, as I says, it's a piston number one is at the top on the compression stroke, and the camshaft lobes on number one cylinder should be facing out. This one's in the right place. I'll need to turn this one. So I've got everything booked up, I've got the timing tool in, so all the timing is spot on. Um, we're at top dead centre on piston number one, top of the uh, compression stroke with camshaft lobes facing outwards. So the only thing I need to do is tighten these bolts. Right, so not to put any strain on the camshafts or the timing tool, I'm going to hold the camshaft steady. Well, Tighten up this bolt. Right now, with the other one, I'll have to do something different. Now, the last bit of time we need to do is this phase disc which just basically tells tells the engine when when to fire on the firing stroke so to do that to time that up we need we need this tool this this goes on top of the cylinder head like that and we just sort of line this all up so it's all in the right spot and I'll just show you I can't do it one handed okay so sorry about the, the funny angle just need to get all this in the right place. I believe that's a sure actually. I may need to consult the Ains manual on this one. Okay, I've had a look in the Ains manual and we've got it in the right place now. So I just need to uh, tighten this up. It's a small Allen key. And I did find the Allen key and it's right here. Uh, just screw this all the way in. And that's in the right place. So we just need to tighten up again. So 
has everything all timed up so I'll just get it everything buttoned up and we'll try for a start it is time for the moment of truth is it going to start? we'll wait to find out In. Not perfect, but I feel we better move forward. It's got the actual engine running. So, I'm all worried about other little issues, but I can start it and it'll run briefly. So, it's a result and it's a step in the right direction. I think I need to get my, uh, my diagnostics up to it, see if it's uh, brought up any problems. So, I'm going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, made a bit of progress. I don't know why the cooling fans kicked in. But, but I think we'll leave that till, till the next video. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Questions and comments, you know where to put them. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.